Value added tax, 20%. Um, it's been that way for a while. Um, no sign of it coming down. Registration limits went up by a thousand pounds. No great surprise there. Um, just a few words about tax avoidance and stuff like that. We've now had what they call the GAR, the General, General Anti-Avoidance Rule, for a little over two years. We have not seen a case yet, or at least I haven't, I haven't seen any pub publicised either, that have come under the, the GAR rule. The GAR rule is a very fluffy thing. It doesn't, it just has no substance. It has a committee which meets that says these things are bad, but um, everybody knows they're bad, so um, that's really not a surprise. But the idea is that if they are said to be bad, the government has a way of saying, you know, these things are bad and throwing a stick at you um, and you're not supposed to do it and of course you get a penalty if you do do it and all the rest of it. It doesn't mean they're not perfectly legal. It doesn't mean they don't work. It's only somebody's opinion. It's a very, very difficult thing to apply in practice. And when you go to council and you talk about schemes, some of them will say, well, that's a joke. It can't possibly ever apply to you because there's no proper mechanism to enforce it. Others are very wary of it. But the fact is we haven't actually seen any of it yet and it's now nearly two years into it. So we haven't actually seen the formal side of it but of course tax avoidance is morally reprehensible as we all know. 